Toy Tractor Times is here at the 2019 Lafayette Farm Toys Show with Blake Chestnut from Ridge Farm, Illinois. Blake, you've been to the show a few times and uh, you've got another display here. So, uh, what can you tell us about it? Um, this display is based off the 80s or the 90s. Uh, first off, we have a Case International 9180 um, had on the display last year, uh, which goes in perfectly with the display this year. We got a nice big disc on it with yep. a finishing tool on the back. The Harrows. It's all made out of scratch built. Chris, uh, Chris Drake made it out of steel or brass. I really like it. That's a good detail. You can see it. Realistic hitch on both. Yeah. Yes. And 9180 is definitely a classic Case International. Yep. Then over here we've got a. It looks like we're getting ready to do some spraying. Yep, there uh, the, we have the grain truck. They would have that. They use it for the chemical truck in the back. We've got the uh, the mixture and the, mo the engine in the tank. So. Now your family farm used a Ford Lowell, I think that looks similar to this. Yep, yep. that's what we used to do on our farm for our okay. sprayer. And then we've got the John Deere uh, tricycle sprayer, but which we usually actually used to have. Um, so I like put that on here. Oh, it looks nice. It's cool to see a 6700 sprayer like that. So, got an old grain bin here. Uh, yes, it's lid open, abandoned. Abandoned. Got some tires over here sitting up against it. Looks like an old pickup truck cab or truck cab there. Yeah. Got the tires and. The homemade trees. The ball brush trees are homemade. So. Looks good. Uh oh, looks like an arm. Is that an armadillo down there? Yeah, I got ran over. Uh oh. That's pretty cool. Not for him though, but interesting <laughs> yeah. detail. So here we can see they've got some. Uh, is that cow chow on the back of it or is that uh, corn? Yeah, that's okay. Cow. And then they're just filling the Kinsey planter. Uh, it's a John Deere 4840, uh, which we used to have on our farm. They would have been filling it with buckets because back then they wouldn't have had seed tenders. Okay. So, so we got the old style DMI gravity wagon, and yep. what model truck is pulling it here? I believe that's a Chevrolet. I don't remember what number is. Okay. So, so yep, we got the buckets and loading up the planter. Yep. Yep. And yeah, 4840 is definitely a classic. Yep, custom. That's 180 fine. horsepower, introduced in '78. Got the Kinsey twin line planter. And so what do you use to create your field out here? Uh, this is actually just real dirt. I caught, uh, we rebuilt a farrowing house and we had a whole pile of dirt. So I just uh, grabbed it and uh, uh, cooked it. And, so. It's good. And I'd like to point out how Blake has uh, used static grass and show the border of the field between the road. And he's got a little bit of a ditch line there. And, Got that nice curve. Where do you get your uh, power lines from? Uh, that's actually just a dowel rod, and okay. then I just took styrene, glued it on. I painted it gray to give it a weathering look, and then used painted it brown. Then used flexed wire or flex string to okay. for the line. So you can see how it follows down to the paved road and yeah. keeps going. Yeah. Well, Blake, thank you for bringing the display out. You always do nice work, and it's neat to see a little bit of your farm history in 164 scale. And we'll walk around one more time and just get an overall view of the display. It's kind of neat. People are bringing the more mini boards out to the shows these days, and it allows you to tell a compact story and display some good customs. If you'd like to take part in the 2020 Lafayette Farm Toy Show, just send me an email at contact at toytractortimes.com. It's free to enter, and we always like having all the different displays here. And if you'd like to see more videos on the farms that were here at the 2019 show, go to Toy Tractor Times YouTube homepage, and there are many videos there to watch. And again, thank you for watching.